Welcome to my first episode of Let's Play Ever. I'm going to start off with Portal 2, an old favorite of mine. I haven't run through the single player in God knows how long, but I absolutely love it. Very witty, well written, just as good if not better than the first game. Uh, let's dive right in. Start a new game. Start at the very beginning. Courtesy call. And an ominous looking computer person right here. GLaDOS. I absolutely love the art and the detail that's gone into this game. It's probably one of my favorite aspects of it. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Is it time you you should this? now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. <laughs> Good. Well, I'm feeling now stimulated. Now, please return to your bed. Ooh, go back to sleep. Excellent. It's quite a bit of work. Time to relax. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Nine, nine, nine. Hello? Anyone in there? The Hello? Are you gonna open the door? Ah! Ah! Oh, God, you look te um good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? How are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please time. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all I'm saying. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm gonna get uh, up into the room. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, <laughs> up to you. Hang on. Hang on to what? The desk? Things gonna fall apart. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Oh, for God's sake. Test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. Oh, minor case of serious but brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Okay. Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you, just, you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. That All like reactor it. core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty oh, hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out. So, of course, the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And, of course, oh God. nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed, you know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of? Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Oh, yeah, plenty of space. Just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And who 
Whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? All right, see, now I hear that one. I hear that one. OK, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. OK, not dead. almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Oh God. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Oh, what are they ramming it? Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Oh God. Here we go. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Yep. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Sure, glowing eye. OK. Right. Off you go. Let's do it. That's the spirit. Oh, this looks familiar. Oh god. Hello, and again welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond <laughs> our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Check me out. Looking good there. Let's go through. So awesome. Thinking with portal. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Okay, let's just do something. Oh, jeez, okay. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Really? Oh. Never mind, I guess you gotta stay there. This doesn't look menacing at all. Oh, going down. Right. I forgot if you about feel that. liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. <laughs> oh, great. Now I'm drinking that. Feels wonderful. Probably like uh, having a sinus infection, but well, on a much worse scale. Guess I've got the cube thing. And buttons. There's the cube. Need that cube. Awesome. I'm gonna set you down. Turn on the other button. Yeah. Press this button. God, that was difficult. 
Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the Whoa. results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Hope done again. All right, test number one finished. I think I'm pretty good at this game. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sending a cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of oh boy. listening to us. Yep. I would certainly bow to something that uh, dropped out of the sky like that wearing a crown. Did you see that leopard print? Look at that. Oh, that looks lovely. Hey, hey! You made it! Oh, it's the blue eye. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. What podium? I can't oh, see that it, one. though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Not sure what could go wrong. Oh! oh that could go wrong. Hello? Yeah, I'll just go have a look. Thanks. Can you see the portal gun? No. But I see your sewage. So are you alive? If hey, that's there important, you that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Oh, very oh, interesting uh, pictures, I'm going to tell you. See you in an hour, hopefully. Hey, companion cube. Uh, cake, shell, GLaDOS, portal one, basically. Uh, more of shell. Uh, more uh, of some random dude. Shell again. Right, and uh, portal gun. Excellent. Let's just. Yes. Oh, yes. Most excellent. Now it's a fun game. Emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics to share. <laughs> oh, it fills me with confidence. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Well, okay, so something like iRobot happens, I can complain about it and hope to uh, hear about it from customer service rep. Well, it's good to know that they're actually out there listening to your grievances. You know, with the apocalypse and all. Hello, destroyed laboratory. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Yeah, that's certainly enough of that. So, taking a look around, um, basically what's happening here is the portal gun is sort of short-circuited, kind of. So basically you... Anyways, basically you've got... Um... Here, what am I trying to say? Ah, I feel like an idiot. Maybe that's what happens with brain damage. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. You've only got one one part of the gun, basically. Right now, the blue section, as you can see, the orange portals, that sort of thing. Pick this up with the glowing electric lights and drop it. Like the gravity gun from uh, Half-Life 2. Yay! Puzzle completed. Next one. This one is supposedly a little harder. Can he do it a second? Great work. Because nope. this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Oh, duh. I'm stupid. Whoa. Wow, okay, fat ass. Oh, what's up here? Oh. Unreason. That looks like math. I'm gonna go ahead and ignore that. Screen with something on it. Nope, can't activate it. Nothing there. Whoa! What did I do? What did I... Okay. Stop pressing random buttons, let's go. I gotta tell you, I actually really like these things. I think the, uh, part up there... It's a bird? What the fuck? Nope, not second around. Sounds like a pterodactyl. We're gone. Down the turbine. Ooh, we made landing. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Oh, okay. So we've got somebody drowning, somebody getting killed from a cube, a cube being on a button, and a cube falling from space. Excellent. Oh, that was cool. Alright, what do we need to do here? Yeah, so let's keep over there. Oh, zoom feature. Like a sniper. Can I press this button? Gotcha. So this goes... This is where? Well, that was a good assumption. Okay. So what does this do? Ooh. Okay. So like... Ah, I see. Cube falls through there, comes out here, gets punched in the face by this thing when I press this button. Excellent. Let's do it. And up you go. And it's blocked. Genius. Up and up and up. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. 1.1 volts? That's. Wow, that's pretty good. So, things like that blue eye dude. Then. Alright. I don't know what that means about GLaDOS. We shut her down. Oh well. Oh, whoops, spoilers from the first one. Well, if you're watching this and you haven't played the first one, you should probably go do that then, huh? Really make landing. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> God help, yeah. Oh, this one. 
Uh, I think I know this one. Sort of, maybe? Yep. Uh, there we go. That didn't work. Let's try that again. Controls are really, really touchy with the keyboard. Let's try this again. And through. Sweet. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. Turn them on. Whoa, did flip. I think that's right. Let's do it a little higher. That looks better. Enough go. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Primitive tribe. Right on. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! It's I'm boy. There. Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Okay, listen, let me... lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me... Never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Come in, I got you. Three! That's high. It's w it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow. Ow. Oops. I swear I tried. I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thank you. Great. Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Oh, that's sick. Um... Go on. Just jam me in over there. Love a banter. Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? Really? You're a robot. I can't... I can't do it if you're watching. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Right <laughs> open. While your back was turned. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go! Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just Hold on though, where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. Yeah, just follow the rail. Hello. Oh no. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. Hello. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Hello. But. Hello. Ah.
Okay, uh, that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and stop for now. Thanks for watching, and join us back for episode two.